Hello, hello, Roxana. Good evening. How are you? Hello. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Um, um, good. Very good. How was your day? Um, my day um, was... Um, Um, very ocupado, busy. busy, very busy, busy, yes. busy, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good, that's good. A lot of work, a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's awesome, yes. awesome. All right, um, who can tell me what information do you remember from the previous class? <clears throat> Yesterday, we um... talked so about there is and there are. Okay, very good, David. There is and there are, good. How much, how many? Correct. How much, how many is correct? Is, is on count, on count, count, no count. Yes, yes. Uncountable and countable. Awesome. Good job. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to do a little review. Vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso from the quantifiers. In this session, we will take a look at quantifiers to ask questions and give our answers. Get ready to listen and take notes if you need to. Quantifiers. How many and how much? Count nouns. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Non-count nouns. Is there much crime? Yes, there's a lot. Yes, there's a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there's none. How much crime is there? There's a lot of street crime. We can say that when nouns in question are count nouns, we can answer using a lot, a few, many, any, none. This will depend on how many there really are. Remember, a lot is a big amount and none is nothing. When nouns in question are non-count nouns, we can use a lot, a little, much, any, none. Remember that when we talk about non-count nouns, both questions and answers are singular. Okay, so this information we were looking at in the previous class. Who can tell me um, if you have any questions or any doubts? referring to this information, somebody. Questions about this topic, somebody. Hi, Roxana. Um, um, um. For me, it's difficult. Um, difference um, when answer a question um, in negative mm -hmm. are, are in many or, or oh, very good. There isn't uh, when when are when isn't well are in, when mm -hmm. very good. There aren't. Many students in the class. So in this case, we say aren't B 
because students is plural. But if I say there isn't is, is a teacher in the class is singular. There aren't is for plural. There isn't is for singular. But also for the uncountable nouns, for example, you say there, there isn't any milk in the carton. No hay mucha leche en el cartón. O quiere decir, no hay huevos en la refri. There aren't eggs in the refrigerator. It's plural. Another question? But but I I see in answer um, for example no there isn't much. Oh, when you ask the question, very good. Is there milk in the refrigerator? And you say. No, there isn't, or positive, yes, there is. Or for example, are there eggs in the refrigerator? Yes, plural, yes, there are, or negative, no, there aren't. Is that your question? The short answer. Sí, eh, voy, voy a decir en español, este, de acuerdo a la... A la plataforma yo había comprendido que cuando era, cuando se podía contar, independientemente si fuera plural o singular, se iba a responder pues, con, en negativo con algo. Y si, era, y si no se podía contar así como lo han hecho, es como mm, esto. Entonces, eh, se iba a utilizar el listening. Pero no, entonces es plural, si se puede contar, aren't, negativo, y singular, si no se puede contar, isn't. Ah, ok. Eh, en el singular sería con el no contable. Por ejemplo, usted dice, hay café, is there any coffee? Is there any coffee? Y usted dice, no, no hay. No, there isn't. ¿Esa era la pregunta? Yes. Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, is there a teacher in the class? Hay un maestro en la clase? No. There isn't in the negative for the singular. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Excellent questions, Roxana. Thank you so much. Um, does anybody else have another question? No. Okay. So for the next activity, what I would like for everybody to do or what we are going to do is we're going to be looking at the next section. The next section is the knowledge check. Much, many, we're going to practice using much and many. Instructions. On the spaces provided for each sentence, write the proper quantifier. Pay attention if it is a countable noun or non-countable noun. Number one, there is mm, noise. What is the answer? Much. 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 So we're going to work for five minutes in pairs, and then we are going to check as the class. Do you understand? Hi, David. What is the difference between any and none? Uh, any and none are none. similar for the negative. There aren't none or there aren't any is the same thing. It's two different ways to express the same thing. Okay, thank you. Of course. Ready, let's go. In pairs. Okay. Uh, much or many? There is much. Much. Uh, much. Number one. Um, Sorry. Much. Uh, number two. Yeah. Number two, there are many restaurants. Many. There. Number three, um, many. Hola. Number three. Number many. three, no. There is much, much crime. Much, okay. okay. Yes. Much. There is number four. There is uh, much. There is correct. Exactly. And uh, uh, many number five, many exactly. Uh, 
The number five is many. Yes. Y vamos a hacer la parte dos. A saber, o solo dijo que many y much, ¿verdad? Vamos. Sigamos. Ah, vaya, ok. Yeah. Bueno, entonces en la parte dos. Number one, there is a little pollution. A little. A little, sí. Está bien. A little. Un um, brazo. Un brazo. Aquí. Aquí. Verá. Número 3. Verá. There are a few shopping centers. Sí, a few. El dos. El tres. There are... Tres. There are a few schools in this neighborhood. Número cuatro. Número cuatro. Número cuatro. Y está el libro. Número cuatro. El libro. El libro. Cuatro. El five. De al a few a few a few a el otro part three part three is there any or any any Sustantivos contables o contables. Yo creo que sería Aren N. Aren Um, yes, and, and number one, there aren't any taxis in this part of town. Any. Number two, isn't any. Uh, Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Uh, Are you finished or do you need more time? I need you. You need more I time? Need, I need yes. Okay. okay. There. 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 Uh, I don't know if it's an any. It's an any. It's an any. And the three says it's an any, and the four says aren't any.
Hola. Hello. Hola. Sí, eh, ya terminó. Sí. <risa> ah, sí, yo también. <risa> Ok, sí. sí, yo estaba pronunciando en inglés y tenía el micrófono apagado. Ah. Ok, entonces si quieres regresemos al, al solo. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Finished. Everybody finished Everything. or do you need more yes, time? Yes, finished. Finished. Okay, let me have one volunteer. Please read for me. All right, Josue, very good, Josue. Read for me number two, Josue. Number two. There are many restaurants. Perfect. Perfect. Number three, Monica. Yes, there is much crime. Perfect. There is much crime. Jenny, number four, Jenny. Number four, there is much traffic. Perfect. Marta, number five, Marta. There are many apartment buildings. Buildings. Number part number two. Part number two, Edwin Giovanni, number one. There are a few shopping centers. Excellent. Maritza, number three. Maritza, number three. Maritza, estás allí, Maritza? All right, Manuel, number three, Manuel. There are a few schools in this neighborhood. Awesome, there are a few schools in this neighborhood. Continue for me, please. Reina Ramirez. There is a little traffic. There is a little traffic. Number five, Dalia Santos. There are a few traffic lights in the city. Perfect. Maria Jose. Number one, part three. There aren't any taxis in this part of town. Excellent. Griselda. Number two. There is some any traffic. Excellent. Roxana Amaya. Number three. There isn't any public transportation after 9 p.m. Perfect. Public transportation. Number four. Reina Acosta. There aren't any parking space. Spaces. Space. Spaces. Kayla, number five. Oh. 
Okay, Maria Jose, number five. There isn't any crime. Awesome. So, any questions from this activity, guys? Any questions referring to this activity, guys? Teacher, I have a question. Yes, of course. What is your question? Uh, because lo voy a decir en español porque no yo sé. Yo hablo si español. Me... It's okay. No sé si yo, yo tengo eh, entendido. Yo hablo mucho poquito español. It's okay. Okay, teacher. Eh, there is, eh, en el caso eh, cuando usamos many o much, eh, there is, siempre vamos a usar much. Cuando se usa there are, se usará many siempre. Correct. Esa es la regla. Porque okay. much es no contable. Por ejemplo, yo te digo, no hay mucha leche en el cartón. There isn't much milk in the carton. ¿Por qué? Porque leche es no contable. Pero si yo estoy hablando, digamos, huevos. There are many eggs. ¿Por qué? Porque eggs es contable. One egg, two egg, three egg, four egg. So usamos many. En el caso de también usar a few y a little es lo mismo. En Correcto. tercera persona es a little en plural. No, or... no tercera persona no. Eh, a few es para contable. Contables. Ajá. Uh -huh. ah, ok. Uh -huh. Y little okay. es para no contable. No contable. D digamos que tú dices, hay poca leche, there is little milk. ¿Por qué? Porque leche es no contable. Pero si yo digo huevos, voy a decir few. ¿Por qué? Porque se cuentan. There are a few. Mm -hmm. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Another question. Another question. It's on a uh, rear to say a uh, little meal. There is the little. No, in this case, you can say there isn't much milk. Isn't. There isn't much milk. It's more natural. Okay, now okay. what we're going to do. Thanks. Yes. Now, what we're going to do is look at the reading. In this session, participants will have a chance to read an article from a magazine, Develop Skills in Scanning and Reading for Details. All right. Aquí vamos a ver un reading article, which is this one right here. So, van a leer el article aquí. Y de allí identificar las seis cosas que aparecen en el article. First, you're going to do it with a partner. And then we're going to do it as a class. At this moment, does anybody have any questions? No, teacher. Referring yeah. to this activity. Vamos a cambiar parejas. Ok, veo que Manuel Alejandro no ha ingresado a la, a la sesión privada. Manuel Alejandro, usted está con Josué Ábalos. Ok, Maritza, Maritza me imagino que tiene malo el internet. Por eso tal vez no me escucha. Maritza, ¿me escuchas? Maritza, ¿me escuchas? Maritza, Maritza. Hello, Maritza. ¿Estás ahí? Sí, 
in the expensive store because uh, in the in the no, 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 no. the article says the sidewalks are crowded with Indian women in colorful traditional dress. He is selling Chinese case and new songs and Romanian band in playing in the. Ya me perdí donde es que leí eso. Pero. The first is inexpensive stores. Big apartments. Hello. 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 You can hear. You can hear me. Me puedes yes, escuchar, Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. And the second answer is big Hola. apartment. Hola. Big Hola, apartment. Okay. Big apartments. Yes. Because say the new residents bring many traditions, this tradition blend together to make a story truly this same. I don't remember. I don't remember yeah. when they say. Um, three is a great market. Great market. Um, yes. Great market. Hola. Calidad. Solo eso. No, 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 no le entendí, José. Solo, solo esas tres son las que vamos a marcar. No, son seis. De ahí es nice, nice restaurant. Ajá, ajá. ¿Por qué? And the number two. Number two, yes. And different culture in the number two. Mm -hmm. Sí. Entonces, ahí habla. Say, one reason I hear a story is the price that mm -hmm. Indian woman, boys, tortilla, Mexican from Korean. Y habla. Mm -hmm. Sobre eso. Um, de ahí dice que eh, por lo mismo, many culture. different cultures. Uh -huh. good public and the last. In the number uh -huh. three. Yes. yes three. Good public transportation. Okay. Entonces, eh, las respuestas serían: one, in a in expensive, in expensive stores. Storage. Two. Stores. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Two big apartment. Three great market. Four uh, nice restaurants. Okay. Five many different cult cultures and six uh -huh, and six good public transport good public transportation transportation uh, transportation <laughs> thank you okay leemos el el el, el cuadro ese Yes, yes. 
the word in the neighborhood. Number one, the sidewalk are crowded with Indian women in colorful traditional dress. A woman on the corner is and in some in a restaurant. Is it is it India? India, China, Romania? No, no, it's in Astoria. It's a store, Astoria, a neighborhood. A neighborhood. Astoria. City. Astoria was one mostly Greek neighborhood. But the area is changing fast. New residents from India, Pakistan, Thailand, China, and all over the United States are moving in. Number two. The new residents uh -huh. bring many tra traditions. These traditions blend together to make a story truly cultural. When people are surrounded yeah. by different cultures, they, they are aid up the thing that they like. The thing they uh -huh. were resident. Like. It is a story. story isn't surprising. It is isn't an so surprising. That's an Indian woman buys Mexican tortillas from a Korean grocery store. It's one of the things that makes the neighborhood special. Special. Number three. It isn't surprising it isn't. that Astoria is becoming a very popular place to live. Okay. The rents are reasonable. The neighborhood is safe and, and has very good transportation. Mm -hmm. There are inexpensive stores, many nice restaurants, and good fresh fruits and vegetable makers. In Astoria, is a comfortable place to live. Apartments are usually big and roomy. Oh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, guys, is everybody finished or do you need more time? We finished, teacher. Awesome, Josue. Thank you. Let me have one volunteer. I want you to read where it says sidewalks right here. One volunteer. Monica. Monica, number one, please. Yes. Uh, Monica, number one, please. The wax with the women in the colorful traditional dress. Yes. Uh, where it says. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay. Hola, hola, me escuchan? Yes, where it says the sidewalks chance? are okay. crowded. Okay, yo creo que Monica tiene lento el crowded. internet porque se le escucha cortado. Le vamos a dar chance a alguien más que participe, Monica, porque veo que su internet está lento y casi no se le escucha. Um, Josué, can you okay. continue? Yes, yes, of course, teacher. Okay. The sidewalks are crowded. Yes. Sidewalks are crowded with Indian women in colorful traditional dress. Woman, woman or women? Women. Women, porque es plural. Women. women in colorful traditional dress. A woman on the corner is selling Chinese cakes. A new cakes town, is uh, or cakes? Cakes. Cakes. A new song from a Romanian band is playing in a restaurant. Is it India, China, Romania, 
No, it's Astoria, a neighborhood in Queens, New York City. Astoria was once a mostly Greek neighborhood, but the area is changing fast. New residents from India, Pakistan, Thailand, China, and all over the United States are moving in. Perfect, perfect, awesome. Does anybody have any questions related to this vocabulary? Does anybody have any questions related to this vocabulary? Somebody? A what question. Is the meaning? What is the meaning? The truly. Uh, truly uh, means verdaderamente. Truly means verdaderamente. Teacher, what do you mean monthly? Monthly means mensualmente. Monthly. Mensualmente. I have, I have many questions, teacher. Okay. It's, Ask. Very, it's very late because the next week I go to have an interview uh -huh. in English. Oh, nice. In Where? Department of Canada. Oh, nice. Okay. I'm not sure if I want to understand the interview. Well, I trust, <laughs> I think that your English is very good. Um, you understand you know? a lot of things. So you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. God. Yeah, yeah, you can do it. Um, I mean, from the... From what I have heard you saying in your conversations, your pronunciation, I don't think you should have a problem. I think you should be okay. It's a little different, the pronunciation of Canada. Ah, okay. And American. Yes, because the Canadians have a lot of French influence. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Uh, Josue, select somebody. Um, Roberto Carlos. Roberto Carlos, continue. Roberto Carlos, continue. Number two. Yes. The new residents bring many traditions. This tradition blend together to make a story, truly multicultural. When people are surrounded by different cultures, they adopt the thing that they like, says, says one resident here in Astoria. It isn't surprising that an Indian woman, woman buys Mexican tortillas from a Korean grocery store. It's one of the things that makes the neighborhood special. All right, excellent. Go ahead, select somebody for the next act for the next part. Um, Jenny Melendez. Jenny Melendez, continue please. Okay. It is not surprise that Asturias is becoming a very popular place to live. The rents are reasonable Reasonably. <laughs> reasonable. 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 The neighborhood is safe and it has very good public transportation. There are inexpensive stores, many nice restaurants, 
and good French fruit and vegetable market. And Austria is a comfortable place to live. Apartments are usually big and roaming. As one long time residents say, while la la live anywhere else, else. Asturia has all it all. Perfect, perfect. Now we're going to look at, um, does anybody have any questions related to this uh, vocabulary or pronunciation or anything like that? Esa palabra que mencionó ella, reaccionable, algo así, no. Uh, Acuerdo, tal vez. Repeat, please. Re reasonable. 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 Correct. Okay. okay. Hi. Sur surrounded. 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 All right. Now we're going to look at the first one. So we have number one. Inexpensive stores, big apartments, great markets. Yes, David, what is your question? Oh, teacher, can you read all imagine, please? I'm sorry, can you repeat? Can you read all imagine, please? Can I read the article? All imagine. The this image, that imagine. This image. This, that yes. Okay. You want me to read everything? Yes. Please. Okay. Okay. The sidewalks are crowded with Indian women in colorful traditional dress. A woman on the corner is selling Chinese cakes. A new song from a Romanian band is playing in a restaurant. Is it India, China, Romania? No, it's Astoria, a neighborhood in Queens, New York City. Astoria was once a mostly Greek neighborhood, but the area is changing fast. New residents from India, Pakistan, Thailand, China, and all over the United States are moving in. The new residents bring many traditions. These traditions blend together to make Astoria truly multicultural. When people are surrounded by different cultures, they adopt the things that they like, says one resident. Here in Astoria, it isn't surprising that an Indian woman buys Mexican tortillas from a Korean grocery store. Wow. It's one of the things that makes the neighborhood special. ¿Me acuerda esto cuando yo estaba en la escuela? Eh, tú podías tener un compañero de clase frente a ti de India. O sea, Hindu, puro Hindu. Eh, a la par tuya podías tener a un chino. Eh, al otro lado podías tener a un africano, pero no un africano americano, un africano de África, o sea, que ni habla inglés. Eh, atrás puedes tener a un gringo, y era normal. Eh, it isn't surprising that Astoria is becoming a very popular place to live. The rents are reasonable, the neighborhood is safe, and it has very good public transportation. 
There are inexpensive stores, many nice restaurants, and good fresh fruit and vegetable markets. And Astoria is a comfortable place to live. Apartments are usually big and roomy. As one longtime resident says, why live anywhere else? Astoria has it all. Por eso dicen que dicen que eh, los Estados Unidos es the melting pot of the world. ¿Sabe qué quiere decir eso? The melting pot of the world? No. Como una mezcla de, de, de una, la, la olla derretida un, del mundo. Una olla mezcla. Correcto. Ah. Sí, correcto. Yo tuve la oportunidad de tener amistades de diferentes partes del mundo. Eh, una amistad que recuerdo muy bien, un muchacho que era compañero mío de bachiller. Eh, tú lo mirabas a él y tú pensabas que él era de la India, Pakistán. O sea, todos pensaban que éramos hermanos porque yo en ese tiempo usaba el pelo hasta como por acá. So, mi pelo es así, alambre, es colocho recto, no sabe si va para arriba o para abajo, no sabe si se está enrollando o enredando, o sea, tengo un pelo entre colocho, liso y perdido del mundo. So, el muchacho tenía casi el mismo look, los dos teníamos casi el mismo look. So, pensaban que éramos hermanitos porque solo juntos pasábamos, pero él... Eh, él viene de familia eh, hindú de la India, o sea, straight up Indian, pero fue criado en Londres. So tú le escuchabas a él hablar, oh, ya, yeah, so we hear in the elevator. El papá de él era dueño de bar, varios petroleros en, en, en Houston. So, eh, o sea, tú lo escuchabas hablar y tú, what? Y me escuchabas hablar a mí con él y todo el mundo así como que confundidos, right? Porque yo soy salvadoreño. Él era hindú. So it was like, you know, but it was normal. It was normal. Uh, esa es la belleza de, de los Estados Unidos. Una vez me acuerdo un, un vecino mío, la ignorancia de los niños, eh, ellos eran vietnamese. La familia esa era en vietnamese de Vietnam. So ellos creen bastante en lo que es um, hinduism. Ellos creen bastante en eso. Y le había dejado un plato con comida, arroz, pescado. O sea, un plato de respeto. de aquellos que tú decís, mm, that looks like a good plate. Y había encendido como incense. Y me acuerdo yo que vi que andaban unos gatos allí. Y vengo yo y le digo, Mr. Kim. Yo tenía como ocho años, bien me acuerdo yo. Mr. Kim, Mr. Kim. <ríe> y me dice, what, what happened? Y le digo yo, hey, your food. Se están comiendo tu comida los gatos. Y me dice, no, no. Me dice, esa comida es para mis ancestors. Es bueno que se lo coman los gatos, porque los gatos pueden transmitir energías espirituales y no sé qué, right? Y yo, damn, yo con la gran hambre dije yo, y este señor regalándole el pescado a los gatos. Pero esa creen es. En la es, reencarnación. Ajá, ellos creen en la reencarnación, cabal. Y esa historia es real. Yo estaba confundido como un señor, o sea, en su lógica iba a dejar de perder un gran plato porque a mí me enseñó mi abuela que la comida no se bota, right? So yo en, yeah, en, en, right. Mi, en mi lógica, I was like what's wrong with this man? Pero es parte de su cultura. <laughs> yeah, it's part yes. of the culture. 
Okay, now we're gonna look at uh, the last activity. So here we had inexpensive stores, big apartments, great markets, nice restaurants, many different cultures, and good public transportation. So for the following activity, we're gonna be moving on and we're gonna look at the midterm exam. Listening, please listen and answer the questions. Listen and answer the questions. Hello. Hello. Hello, Edwin. Hola, Dalia. Hello. Yo sé que no escuché bien las indicaciones porque estaba eh, quedando en la calle en realidad. Pero... Ah, y vamos a escuchar el listening y, y contestar las preguntas. Ah, bueno. Pero... Ese, ¿qué, ¿qué actividades de, de los que estamos trabajando? La sección 3 creo que ya es el examen. Sí, es el examen, ya. Ajá. Es, es, la, es la primera, es el primer examen. Son... All right, ladies and gentlemen, time's up, time's up, and I will see you back tomorrow. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay teacher. Bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Tomorrow. I see you tomorrow.